Yo guys! And here we are in Spa, Franco Show, True Mountain Legends. You see right behind me. This is what's going down this weekend. I'm so excited. I'm gonna drive one of my father's old cars. Talk about my father, a teammate this weekend. Here he is, the good old man. <laughs> We're gonna share this beautiful car this weekend. We're gonna have so much fun. Childhood dream coming true. I wish you a lot of fun. There's gonna be some oddboards. There's gonna be a lot of talking, a lot of explaining from the grand old man about the good age of motorsport 20 years ago. Right here, guys. And I cannot wait to get into the car. So guys, enjoy the show. Have a good time. This car is very complicated, uh, even when it's over 20 years old. At that time, we were really on a level, I uh, will say, higher as Formula One. Uh, we use every technical issue to get quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker every year. And you can see my dashboard here, you can see everything here. It's like the same as to take a, and you want to fly an airplane. You have so many possibilities to give some input on the car that you get quicker. Uh, we have a high revs car engine we have 12 and a half thousand reps uh, we have the limiter that is very high at that time for a touring car and uh, then as i told you i have all this problem here a lot of possibility here to change the roll bar front rear asn wet e abs in wet and in dry as i want i can map all the system um, we have here for example uh, we have the ballast it's very known for this one we have under the car a tunnel where we have 70 kilo. It's seven kilo, 70 kilo running in the tunnel. 
and we could adjust it manual or we normally program it with uh, the technical guys together that everywhere where we need traction I have to wait on the rear to get a big traction on the rear and soon I was so in a quick corner the weight was in the front to have a good balance front rear balance we have a shallow sea here they say we can change the wind tunnel under the car in front of the car how much air go into the car to the cooling how much air we can lay out on the side of the car to get more high speed and less downforce uh, but of course you have to look at the cooling of the engine and so on and so far so it was really incredible what we have a possibility to to work on when we come on the track so we were using hours with the technical guys together really to go into the computer and see every meter of the track i want the roll bar here like this i want it here i want the weight in the front i want the weight in the rear and so we work hours and hours every day before the race but it was fantastic to be inside in this technical side of the of the development of a race car. It was really very, very interesting for me to, to see what was possible to do. At that time we also were running, as I told you before, with this um, hydraulic system that we keep the car going in the cornering. Always try to get the car going on a stable and not rolling too much. Rolling be, be means that you are using, you are not really using the tire properly, you are always using the outside tire, outside tire, outside tire. But the best grip, of course, you get if you have all four tires on the floor and you really get the maximum out of it. And this was such a system we have, hydraulic system we have in, in combination with the shock absorber. That we always like a, always going like this when we were running and racing on the, on the track. We are now arrived in the, in the front of the car. All cola faster, everything you can see with the high revs engine, it needs a lot of air. It's just a 2.5 liter but they need a lot of air, air is power. Yeah. So that's why we have a big, big air box on the car. Car and the engine as normal, very deep to get the rolling center very deep. We spoke about it before. And uh, we have the same game as in the rear that you can go in here, you can open four screws. You take this complete car out here, as I told you before, you have a new one prepared. You put it in, you let the engine drove to get some oil pressure on it. And after four minutes, people in four minutes, you have a complete car front chase. And don't tell me it's less expensive as if you have a spare car. But the guys with the rule want it this way and the technical did it this way. So uh, it's really incredible to be a part of this. Huh?
Yeah, what a dream coming true. As a, a kid watching all the videos, I was too young to really remember some of the real stuff on the track. I only have one race in my mind from 95, but it's only picture. But now it's here behind me and I had the most wonderful weekend trying this car and just experiencing it. Uh, just great honor and high tech, even though it's past 20 years old, it's just been a dream coming true for me. Everything here, but uh, I, I'm happy for him. I'm mostly happy for him that we are here. If we win or lose, of course, we want to win. That's sure. We have some technical issues, you could see it with the uh, puncture and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm, uh, of course, I'm very happy and very proud uh, that he had the opportunity to get in my old car, 22 years old. And uh, I think it was like expected, what I'm expecting. I expected it's uh, like a modern race car today, and I like, saw so yesterday. He did four laps and he was the quickest of all of the track. And it's just show at this level that this car is and, and the young man. You can tell so many positive and negative stories. Uh, I can just say as always that my time at Mercedes and all the cars where you see in the garage is my lifetime. It's from the 190 year, Evo 2, Evo 1, what do I know, class 1, and then the complete C-class series that we have behind us. Uh, so it is, uh, it's a work. Also, know everybody thinks when they see the car, oh, it's nice, it's beautiful, it's make fun. I can tell you, it's a hard work. And you really have to be fit in your body and you have to be very fit in your head. And then the people forget it. It's a lot more behind us, you think. As every boy, you, you always watch up to your father. And uh, in that age, in that age where you suck the most information, was when I was watching my father, of course, uh, winter races, something you don't remember, but it's just in your system. And again, you, you always look up to your father, and uh, so it means everything to me, that's for sure. But when I start racing, I always said, I don't want him there. Like you have other drivers like Ludwig or Ash, they always said their father's there. I said, I want to do this on my own. If I cannot do it, I'm just not good enough. I, I don't want to be known as good team son. I want to make my own career and I'm really proud of where, where I am now because of the, the achievements I made. So people will never come to me and blame me that uh, it's because of my father. Of course he had the impact when you were this, this big that uh, it's just normal. You, you suck all the information in by watching your, your hero do what he's doing. But in the end of the day it's all about here and uh, making your path. First, you have to have the interest to do it. Yeah? Uh, maybe uh, it would better be play soccer. Yeah? But you have the interest to do something with mechanic, something with a steering wheel. You could see in the go-kart how quick he learned it and how much he was winning. And uh, when you first start to win the races, it's like a drug, you know. You cannot get enough of it. It's going to happen one day. It has to happen is that I want to I wanna do the, the switch over now. I want him to try whatever it is. Uh, I need to talk to us about it. About this, my boss. <laughs> Just the GT3, any, anything with the, what I'm doing now. A modern racing car. It's it's still a car with with four wheels, of course, but it's just so different uh, to this. And um, 
again, that was just a great experience doing this. As I said, it's just freaking hard work. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's what we like, isn't it? Uh, seeing the drivers uh, work work for it to get the job done. So yeah, I, I really hope one day that uh, we we'll fit together that we could again do another vlog where he goes in my car.
Oh guys, I'm speechless. This is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I definitely ticked off. One of my biggest dreams was to drive the car here, the C-Class from 96 with my father, sharing it with him. The race didn't go as planned, but that's not what it comes down to. It was just enjoy every single second. I hope you enjoyed every second of the video. Leave the video a like, a comment if you have a question. Let us know and I'll hand it over to my dad. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.